no. But I know I was an actor, but I knew that night, I was like, tonight's a night, I'm gonna say, and I had this like grand speech planned in my head. I was like, I'm gonna be so romantic with it. It's gonna be so amazing. Well, the first time like we actually met my wife when he walked in, I was like, dang, I'm gonna climb that like a tree. <laughs> but at the end of the date, I mean, I was also thinking that. But if I if I could kind of sum it up in one word, cause you know, there was like a lot of things that were going on. Like I, I, I remember having this dream of a man's hands before we even met the first time, before we even started talking. And I saw these hands in my dream and I knew that these hands were of importance. Like I'm very intuitive. And so I just couldn't stop thinking of these hands in my dream. And I remember the first time we met, I saw your hands and those were the exact same hands that I saw in my dream, like the same energy behind the hands. And so I would say that our very first date, like my first impression of you, the one word, I think I thought of you as very ethereal after our first date. That would definitely be the word. Cause I'm like replaying the whole date in my head and it was very like <laughs> How can I top that? <laughs> you can't, that's why you should have gone first. Yeah, I, I thought she was very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was real. Because I, I thought she was kicking catfishing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but to sum it up, I, I thought I was a uh, right, game changer. For sure was a game changer. Mm. Wow, that was a good word. How do I top that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did. Oh, really? Yes, I did. And wow. it was an accident. We were already really, like, you and I fell heavily into our relationship. And I started feeling, like I, like you said, a game changer, ethereal. Like, yeah. I knew you were a presence that was going to be hard to let go of or hard to... Because we were both actually married at the time. Yeah. We were both in failing marriages. We were both trying to make our own marriages work with each other. Like, hey, you try to work it out over there, I'll try to work it over here. We try to work it out together. <laughs> And all, full disclosure, we were not cheating. Yeah, our, our spouses, we were both in open marriages. Yeah. So we were both in open marriages, we met each other. I remember being in science class in fifth grade and there were like these two powerful magnets that no matter what you did, you couldn't pull them apart. And if you pulled, if they, if you managed to pull them apart and your skin got caught in it, you would, your skin would literally rip off because they're so magnetic and it's like a cosmic pull to them. And I felt that way with this man. So I knew in my soul, I was like, I just want to say it. Just a few weeks in, like literally what, like a month into our relationship. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just going to say it. I love this man, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to call him too strong, but like, I need to say it. I had to say it to express to him. But no, we were literally going on a date that night to that restaurant yeah. by, by Shisha Cafe. Oh, but you, you said no, no, no. But I know I was an actor, but I knew that night, I was like, tonight's a night, I'm gonna say, and I had this like grand speech planned in my head. I was like, I'm gonna be so romantic with it. It's gonna be so amazing. And then we're on the phone. I'm about to get home and I have some stuff to do at home. We were like, he was like talking really fast and he was saying something and I was like, wanting to keep up with your pace. I don't know what we were talking about. And I was like, blah, blah, blah. okay, love you, bye. And he was like, ha, ah, you said it. And I was like, <laughs> aren't, so... you, aren't you glad though uh, uh, that I didn't say okay and I have to <laughs> Honestly, never the... kiss myself <laughs> but uh, I think uh, to me she's the best kisser I've ever had yeah so... so is he but I think we're both really good I think kissing is an art and I think kissing yeah. is like a science and it's a dynamic so if you're I think somebody can be really good at kissing, but if you're not kissing somebody that doesn't match that energy or match your spirit, it's just, it, you don't have that connection, yeah. you automatically are a bad kisser yourself because you're just like, oh, I don't want to do it. So yeah, yeah I, I would say, I don't think either of us. Yeah, kissing, I think it's like a dance. So it, uh, it takes a partner that you're comfortable with and a partner that can read your body and 
read your 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 style as it well. It takes you know? two to tango. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> I would say we both are, but we're both not. I think we both have our small things that we get away with. You know, I think like he lets paperwork pile up and I'm like, no, let's get a hold of the paperwork. I have a lot of shoes and I tend to like just kind of throw them in like the part of the closet. And I'm like, I need to get a hold of my shoes. So I think it's just, we're both pretty tidy, but we have little niches that we're like, we so let- about different things. Yeah. yeah. I, yes, like or like the bathroom or something like with makeup and like little things here and there. But I'd say we're both we both get to a point where it's like we both need to clean yeah. or both need to shower them up. So I think we're both the same. Um, I would say maybe Scarlett Johansson, maybe. I guess. At some point when I was younger. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I don't know if you have. We I don't really think I have one now either. Honestly, he's my celebrity crush. <laughs> Oh, him, for, for sure. Him, for sure, hands down. She only says that because she doesn't want to. <laughs> when she does cook, she needs I, I have a love-hate relationship with cooking, but he's he puts a lot of energy into it. I really like his cooking. Pumpkin. Okay. And spooky. Because we use the emoji. Yeah. Pumpkin because of her hair as well. And because of Halloween, like the pumpkin. We both love Halloween. And for the longest time, I was struggling with a, with a nickname for you. Because I wanted to be special and different. And I wanted to also go off of the Halloween thing because we love Halloween. And I was like, I can't call him Ghost. And I was like, oh, Spooky. And so sometimes I call him Spooky. And if you look on our, at least our Instagram, it'll say San Antonio Realty Couple. And you'll see like a little pumpkin emoji and a little ghost emoji. And that's because it's in, in honor of our, of our, of our nicknames. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a lot of songs. We actually have our own playlist on uh, Amazon Music, where it's just like all the songs that kind of from the beginning of our relationship to now. But if I had to pick a specific song, we would say Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. That's that's our one of our, that's like our top song. That, that was like a major thing, like a lot of times in our relationship would be in a car fighting or arguing or whatever and then or in, like in a really happy time of our relationship and that song would come on too and we're actually going to go see the weekend in august yeah. like in person so that's going to be a huge moment for us to kind of celebrate too wow. mm -hmm. he likes lemon and chocolate put together that is his thing the best <laughs> oh i know it she doesn't do favorites okay but i but what's her, the one? What's the one that I'm absolutely I plot over for any, from H E B? The almond fudge one. Almond. What were you gonna say before that? Yeah, okay. Oh really? Oh say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> I don't know. I, again, like I'm not a favorites kind of person, but I will say it's not really necessary. I'll say it's a gift, but I'll say my our, my wedding band. He gave it to me, obviously, because we're married, but there is like a good, solid story behind it, a lot of emotion behind it. So for me, he's very thoughtful with his gifts and he always gives me things that I need or things that I want. And I'll keep those like forever and stuff like that or little things. But yeah, I would say my engagement ring is definitely the, the best one because we picked it together, but it was like a good story behind it. So yeah. Oh, the watches? Yeah. This, watch. this watch is specific to her. It's one of my favorite watches. She, she got me a lot of watches because I love watches. Mm -hmm. so He's very got, picky with watches I'm too. I'm always picky. nervous when I but get him watches. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> no. But she knows what I, I'm thinking. I would, I'm gonna. I'll definitely say your. Do you beard. know what I'm thinking? Yes, I know what you're thinking. I'll definitely you know. say his beard, though. No, but you can still answer it outside of that. Outside of that. Because you know me, my answer too. <laughs> but I would say feature. his physical feature. Yeah, I would say you're definitely your beard. Okay. It's my, uh, my favorite. I would say <laughs> uh, her eyes. That also goes back to when we first dated. I looked into her eyes when she lets me. <laughs> He's like, look away. <laughs> Red eyes. <laughs> like, okay, I don't want to see that. 
he has a beautiful <laughs> he has a gorgeous like hazel brown deep brown color to his eyes but sometimes when he's like looking in the sun you can really see the the, the ambers of his eyes and the, kind of the golds and bronzes so he's really gorgeous eyes especially in the sun okay mm -hmm. this is blue <laughs> Normally I would be mean, but he's a cancer. He's very emotional, but I'm going to say we're both super emotional, but I tend to be more reactive with my emotions and he tends to be... We're both emotional, but... I know for me, I'm, I would say maybe more normally emotional. I still have a lot of baggage and trauma from my past. So that tends to be what I bring to the forefront now. But I would say if that's not affected, I'm genuinely like that. But I do tend to wear my heart on my sleeve. I'd say for you, you're more in the now emotional versus like the past. So I would, I would say maybe that's where we, we differ a little bit, but I know we're both emotional, but I'm more like crying also. That's what I mean by wearing my heart on my sleeve and you're more internal, like you can attack yourself more internally maybe. So I would say more like, she's probably more emotional, I'm more sensitive. Okay. So that's how I would That would, yeah, okay. That's, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> summing that up. <laughs> We were just dating. We, we didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and and at that on that day, I remember I started feeling a certain way towards her. I started freaking out a little bit because I didn't know where this is gonna go. And this is where I'm, I wanted to sit down with her and confront her and be like, "Where do you want this to go?" Because I, this is right now we're in uncharted territory. Mm -hmm. So that was a very critical thing. Like we both knew if we go further than this, this literally means that divorce is on the table for both of us. Yeah. Like I kind of already knew that I was going to divorce my ex-husband. I had already had that in the plans even yeah. before he came in. I was set done. I was like, I know I'm ready to leave him. I just need to come up with a plan and come up with this new structure for my life. And then he enters my life and he's like trying to make me work it out with my ex-husband. We were friends in the beginning. Yeah, so then we both started to really clean together. So that comfort conversation that we had was kind of like, I'm super serious about this, like super duper serious. And he's like, well, I'm super duper serious and I'm freaking out about it. I'm like, and I think I was maybe more chill in that conversation because oh, I already knew. No, you were also. I was tense, but I wasn't as, I feel like as tense as you. I was yeah. more comfortable with, I'm fine with divorcing. <laughs> I was going to do it anyway. And you're like, oh, hold on. I would say for me, a huge indicator or like a huge pivotal moment, I'll always go back to it, was Blue Door in yeah, Austin. Austin. We yeah, had an Airbnb and that was like our first trip together where we spent a few yeah. days and I was really, really sick. We took a whole bunch of our shit into like this Airbnb in Austin. It had a Blue Door, that's why we always call it Blue Door. Did a photo shoot there together. We He cooked for me for the first time together. And it, I was like so sick and he took care of me. And there was this one instance where he's like, I want you to create this canvas because I used to do art. And I want you to put all of your baggage and all of your heavy trauma <clears throat> into this canvas. And so he was like, and I want you to do it naked. And I was like <laughs> naked. And I was like creating this masterpiece. And I started to like really be into it. There was a method to this. I wasn't yeah, trying he wasn't. To, <laughs> I was trying to be weird. Yeah, he wasn't was, trying to be weird, but it no, was like a raw emotional the, the, the thing. The process was just like to get everything out. And, and I would ask her questions while she's painting. Mm -hmm. And how did that, that sound? How did that feel? What color that comes to mind when you felt that way? And basically, those questions helped her formulate all her emotions and all, all her issues into that painting. Because I would always put my emotions into my canvases, and so this was a very emotional canvas for me. And we created just two that two that day. Yeah, one we talked. We were talking about the past, and one we were talking about the future. So yeah. at the end of the really emotional one, I started to get really intense pain. Mm -hmm. And I started feeling physically sick and just physically like something's wrong. I might need to go to the emergency room. And he put me on the couch and he was just like, shh, just relax, it's fine. And it went away. Yeah. 
and then we finish the, the happy canvas together. Mm -hmm. And the then one. the feature one yeah. together, which we have hanging out in our apartment. And yeah. then he was like, and then at the end of the trip, he was like, you're going to leave the painful one behind. Because the actual Airbnb was like this artist's yeah, Airbnb. So there were a whole bunch of paintings yeah. around and I had left it for them. And it was like, it was like an emotional thing. I was like, yeah. I left part of myself there. And it was like, oh, <laughs> I'm about to cry about it now. The whole point again, that, that was my plan originally. Like the whole point of it was to leave your past. Let it go and, let go and learn to let go. If you all want to know more about us, make sure you check us out on YouTube. We are the Zachary team, San Antonio Realtor Couple, Christina Zachary and Gabriel Zachary. We're two realtors here in San Antonio. We work seven days a week, over 15 hours a day. She does all the work. I do most of the driving. <laughs> <laughs> we do it together. <laughs> But we're always together. Uh, our phone number is back here, 210-504-5301. Uh, dials both our uh, phones, so either one of us is going to pick up. Mm -hmm. Most of the time her, because I'm busy driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would love to help if you have any questions. If you want to get into real estate, if you want to buy, sell, invest, give us a call. We would love to answer your questions. Yeah, and please support Ruben and his channel. Uh, we'd love the support on our channel too, so please subscribe. I'm sure he'll put all his social media, but we're, like he said earlier, we're on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, obviously. So yeah, just, uh, we appreciate the support. Everybody who subscribed so far, thank you so much. We love you, and we cannot wait to get more. So thanks again, and we will see y'all soon. Somewhere out there in, in, the, in the universe of San Antonio. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you.